Real versus fake Air Jordan 1 Royal reimagines. In this video, I'm going to help you guys point out real versus fake Jordan 1 Royal reimagines so that you know what to look out for to tell if your pair is real or fake so that you do not get scammed. This video is for educational purposes only. I'm not promoting fakes. I don't wear fakes. None of that. This video is only to help you guys out spot Real and fake reimagined Royal Air Jordan 1s. If you're looking to purchase real 100% authentic sneakers, make sure you guys continue watching because I need to tell you guys about today's video sponsor, Poison. Poison is my favorite place to buy sneakers. Poison is an online shopping platform that is one of the first to develop the Verify Before Delivery system. The Verify Before Delivery system guarantees authenticity of every product. Poison does this with their 8-step verification process as well as their 10 plus quality checkpoints to make sure that all products are authentic and meet poison standards i have unboxed sneakers from poison before and today we have an unboxing what i think is sneaker of the year the sneakers come in this beautiful tiffany colored poison box with poison branding on the box and let's open up the box and let's see what sneakers we have the shoe box comes all in bubble wrap poison bubble wrap to be specific which is awesome and we have the box here it is in great condition and we have what i believe is the sneaker of the year the air jordan 3 white cement reimagined from Poison, 100% authentic, verified. Each pair comes with a certificate of authenticity, as well with Poison tags on both sneakers. Poison has competitive pricing on their hand-picked and authenticated items to make sure that you get the best deal possible. Poison is now in the United States, and if you guys order now, you get free shipping on your orders across the US. Make sure you guys check out Poison with my link down below in the description for anything from sneakers to apparel, sunglasses, designer bags, and more. Go to poisonapp.com click the link down below in the description go shop poison and shop knowing that you're getting 100 authentic product for the best deal possible thanks poison here is the authentic box make sure you have an all black box with a nice royal blue the blue does have a nice shine to it and take a look at the label you want to make sure that this is exactly what the label looks like pause it if you need to read it Take a look at the label, the font, notice the placement and everything of this label. Now, inside of the box, the details, the contents inside, let's go through it. So you do have on the lid of the box, you will have a red little lot number there. The stamp will be there, as well as tissue paper. You get a bunch of it. So make sure that each sneaker comes individually wrapped in nice, thick, white tissue paper just like this. Once again, two sets of those tissue papers because each shoe does come individually wrapped as well as your normal white tissue paper as well. And then inside the box, you will have the YDM sticker, the white and green sticker. Make sure you do have the lines going through this sticker. That's what the sticker should look like. And when you black light test it, it will light up a little bit. And when you blacklight the sneakers, the only thing that I see glowing is the midsole stitching around the entire sneaker. I am noticing a little bit of glue marks, nothing too crazy here on the real pair. This is a 100% authentic retail pair. So I'm not noticing anything that shouldn't be here on fake pairs. You guys can use a black light and notice things that should not be glowing as well as any stamps or any writing that should not be on the sneaker. I wanna start off with the color of the Air Jordan 1 Royal Reimagined. The camera, every camera that you guys see, all content that you guys are watching, are making the blue a lot lighter than it actually is. In person, this blue suede is darker. It's a real royal blue. It's a darker, natural royal blue. It's not as light as the camera may make it seem, so I do wanna point that out. Now, let's notice the shape. Right here on the real pair, notice the shape on the back heel of this real authentic pair. On fakes, I'm noticing that they do not get the shape correctly. As we all know, they cannot get the shape 100% correct with the hourglass figure to it, as well as the height. The height on the Royal Reimagined Fakes, they almost look like mids. They do not look like high OGs like this. So please watch out for that and notice the stitching. Notice the black stitching 
that's going around on the back and just along the up upper of the sneaker and notice the blue stitching that's also on the blue suede take a look at the stitching it's all about the stitching on the real and fake pairs notice the black nubuck as well the eyelets and take a look at your whole suede the suede the blue suede is very hairy so make sure it looks just like this it's very hairy to the touch make sure you do not want to have a short haired suede at all and as well as the black it is going to be short but it's going to be a very nice durbuck nubuck material so please make sure materials are correct as well as colors as well as stitching and the height as well as the shape on the back heel of the air jordan one royal reimagined take a look at the wings logo this is what your wings logo should look like notice the stitching as well fake pairs the stitching here is wrong they did not get the stitching correctly they are messing up the stitching so notice how it's lined up on the stitching notice that on the real pair on fake pairs it's not lined up properly so please watch out for that as well as the wings logo notice the wings logo and then take a look at the nike swoosh the stitching guys it's all about the stitching on real and fake pairs now the tongue you do want to look at the nike air now keep in mind this is a big pair size 13 so this will have a bigger nike air than say a size 10 but you can notice where the nike air is placed that is always correct as well as the text on the back notice the text on the back of the tongue that's how it should be on fake pairs it's not going to look exactly like this notice the font and everything on the real pair this is how it should be now let's get into the inside of the sneaker the real pair they do come with black laces as well as you do get an extra set of blue laces inside of the cardboard box here so make sure and then they do have the move to zero branding on the back so make sure that the box the laces here this is what the box should look like now the inside they do come with this tissue paper make sure this is what the tissue paper looks like anything else is not correct as well as the inside let's take a look at the insole notice the insole of this real retail pair all black you got the nice royal blue fakes it's not going to be this color they're going to get it slightly off when it comes to the blue and the shade of the back as well now look at the back Notice the font on the back of this insole. The insole, the fakes just do not get correct. So watch out for the, that. Make sure your insole is correct. And here's a big, big sign, of course. Your insole stitching. Make sure under the insole, this is what the stitching on retail pairs should look like. Make sure this is exactly what you want. Fakes are not going to get this correct. They never do. So please watch out for that as well. And the size tag itself. Notice the font and everything of the size tag. That's what your size tag should look like on real 100% authentic retail pairs. Notice the font, the placement, and everything of it. Notice where everything is. On fake pairs, things will be off on the tag. So please watch out for that as well. They're gonna be close, but there are going to be some differences between real and fake pairs of the Royal Reimagined Air Jordan 1s. This is gonna be a sneaker that a lot of people want. Resale's not gonna be high, but a lot of people do want them, and they're going to be massively fake. They already are. So please watch out. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe. And let me know what other sneakers do you guys want me to do real versus fake videos on. Leave a comment. Let me know. Real versus fake reimagines. Royals. They're out there. It's going to be very scary. So please watch out. Notice all of the little details on the Royal Reimagine. This is how a real retail authentic pair should look like. Notice the shape. The shape of the sneaker. This is exactly how it should look. Anything else is not correct. They're gonna be faked, massively faked. So take a look at the toe box. That's how it should be, nice and bulky like that, nice and flat. But fakes, it'll be too bulky. It'll come out a little bit too much and it's not gonna be, to have this nice tip to it. You notice the tip, it's not gonna have that. So make sure you guys notice the fake pairs are going to be off. Make sure you guys smash that thumbs up. 
Make sure you guys check out Poison, the link down below in the description. Thank you, Poison, for sponsoring this video. If you guys want 100% authentic retail sneakers, make sure you guys check out Poison. They're a great platform to buy 100% authentic retail sneakers, clothing items, and more. So make sure you guys check out Poison. Link down below in the description. And make sure you guys know what to look out for here on Real vs. Fake Royal reimagined air jordan ones i want to thank you guys so much for watching make sure you guys join the more family hit that subscribe button smash that like button we're always on the grind we're never gonna stop always dropping that fire straight fire